Hello, folks, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. All right. I looked at my inventory. 280 small is what we have right now. That's what buys these crystal light charges. We have only 13 big. That's what buy these large crystal light charges. We can still buy some of these. We just can't buy, you know, all of them. But I'm going to go ahead and buy some of these. So, let's see. If we have 13, we should be able to buy four of these, right? Four times three is 12. So we can't quite get full charge there, but that still takes us over 100, which is great. And then we buy these. And these we might be able to actually buy all of them. 90 pieces, no big. There we go. Okay, so now we have a 150. Not quite enough for a second charge. Or third charge, I should say, because we can totally get a second charge. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back up to... So go back up over here to you. So we can totally get a second charge. Okay, so it's just different currencies. That's what's throwing me. I thought it was all just Zonite and whatever. But no, it's different uh, grades of Zonite for different types, which I guess kind of makes sense. It is a little confusing. I kind of wish it was just Zonite straight across the board, but I get it. Okay, so hello. Yep, go ahead and refine this stuff, please. Get producing. We don't see, need to see that again. Uh, but I can't skip it. So, I guess we're seeing it again. Okay. So, ideally, we want to do that. We'll do more than just one at a time. But I just wanted to get... I was hoping to get a full battery life out of it, but that's okay. Still progress. Okay. All right, we've explored a lot of the depths. Let's uh, let's explore more of the upper level here. So, I would like to go over here and get this climbing outfit. So let's mark it with a. Can I mark it with a pin? Do that. I apparently can't do that. All right. Uh, okay, I can stamp over here. That'll be close enough. And then let's teleport to. I'm just gotta be. Something like the corn regions found. There's got to be. Where are the horses at? Aren't they like all over here? Now let's start with lookout landing and see what happens. I'm hoping to get a horse. Really, we just need to register a horse at a stable. That gives us one pony point, which then will allow us to have a hitch, which then we'll be able to use to carry wagons around, which will be maybe useful. I don't think that's actually going to be useful. Hopefully it is. Okay, so the pin I want has got to be around here somewhere. There we go. Um, hold on, that's red. Is that what I wanted? Oh, well, okay, yes, that's one of my pins, but that's not the one I wanted. I wanted the purple pin off to my right that I apparently couldn't see for some reason. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just dive off the side here. So we had some horses, but I don't know where they went. They could be bound anywhere. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Hold the phone. There's a dude here who's been mumbling about Pose. Let's go talk to him first. Totally have not talked to the guy mumbling about Pose. That's, um... It's over here, right? That sounds right. Okay. I mean, there's actually a dude, but there's a... He has a statue here. Let's pray the statue. Swordsman, you okay over there? You look like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone, huh? We discovered it in the depths. 
It looks both naturally formed and as though it's been carved into... Well, we don't much about it, as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> so, once I've done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. Uh, so we can't turn this in until she's done with her thing. Um, do we have a side quest for her thing? We might. Let's see. Right, that's the Haas thing, right? Increase in the Pluto. There's the Wanted, and that's it. That's all I got. I don't have any side quests for her. And we are missing some sections, though, so chances are we need to do some more of this. Yeah, okay, I did that one. Uh, Master Koga is all the way over there. Okay, so that's deeper in the depths. Okay, we can head out in that direction eventually. That's Nakluda going over that way. Okay, directions I don't want to go in right now. So, how about up here and things? So, yeah, press, that's the main quest. Oh, so here we go. So we need to go to each one of these regions anyway. Well, that's going to be quite the effort. So I can't turn in Pose yet, apparently. Okay, then. Never mind. All right. Well, let's still go. Okay. Then we'll just collect all the Pose, and eventually it'll figure itself out. There are some regions we need to go to, but... We'll figure it all out. Yeah, see, horse would be great right now. Like, there's a lot of just open territory. Unfortunately, I don't see any horses at all. We had horses. We had, like, a little cadre of... What do you, what do you call a group of horses? It's like cadre. That can't be right. Um, field? Field of horses? No, that can't be right either. Okay, little guys. I know you're here. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. There. Okay. Not that I know what we use choo choo jelly for, really. I see no horses whatsoever. Another cave over there. We've already looked at that cave. Oh, hello there. Okay, dude, it's daytime. Shouldn't you be only popping out at night? Now, the Baka winds, I know they have no sense of proprietary or anything like that, so. Yeah, they'll be whenever. Man, where do these guys sleep? They just sleep on the ground, don't they? I mean, there's no... There's nothing here. Oh, I don't have a... Yeah, my last one just got destroyed. Not a very good one right now. Oh, sure. Light up, light up some weapons. Sure. You're stronger than the ones in the depths. How is that possible? Okay, my weapon's pretty good, though. I don't really need the fire you guys made here, though. I'll just go ahead and take your horns as trophies. Thanks, and your fangs, too. Yeah, but your weapons are kind of garbo. Okay, there we go. There is a shrine over there. Is that going in the right direction? Eh, mostly. It goes in the quarry ruins. It's basically where I wanted to go. Something glowing over here? No idea what that was. It looked like a brief shiny something, but I don't know what that was supposed to be. We got another hunter, or other, I suppose we say we have a gatherer over here. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't taken a picture of you yet, have I? There. There, out of the companion. Oh, okay. So you're just being rude now? Okay, now you just lit yourself on fire. Sort of. Oh, though I lost all the fireproofs that way. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Because he was collecting fireproofs for me. It's just so rude to just destroy them like that. Oh, is this guy holding up another sign? That's totally what he's doing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and help him out. I mean, you think he'd be better at arranging these things. Okay. How am I going to hold up this sign? I mean, it'd be better if we can try to do something different every time. And there's a hoe there. Is a hoe as a weapon? How's my weapons right now? I totally have an empty slot. Here, take the hoe. Take the hoe. Might be able to combine that with... Uh, did something. I don't know what. 
And the way we did it before is probably fine. So we just took a bunch of these and just put them up. So that's probably fine. And really, we can save this thing. Right? Let's uh, drop you over there. Remove you. Um, yeah, if you like. Oops, okay, up here. There we go. Now attach. Right, that's the problem, right? It's going to fall over. So we need to have a brace. So... Actually, that could be a brace. We can use all four for this. It's a little overkill, but it's fine. Alright, because the brace would be here. Okay, it's a crooked brace, but that's okay. As long as it holds it up, that's the most important thing. Stupid. All right, I'm gonna shake this thing loose. There. Now we're gonna brace you there. Okay, much better. And actually, we don't even need to rotate you. I think we can just hold it right here. It's a little. Oh, it's a little higher. That's just rude. That's just rude. Okay. Well, we've got more pieces. Actually, I wonder if we can put, a, like, a wheel on top. That might give us the extra height we need. So, right there. Well, it looks like that'll do it. Okay, I wonder if it's going to be higher over time. Okay, right up against the sign there so it doesn't fall over. There. Oh, except that's totally going to fall over. Uh, we just need to move it a little bit over to the left. The trouble is... I don't think it'll work that way. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That might work. Okay, let's talk to him. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Okay, try letting go. It's probably fine. I think I've got it. Hey, he's standing. How's the president standing? Ah. That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Okay, great. It's another one set. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this on my thanks. Okay, 20 rupees is not bad. Let's be hungry after your hard work, right? Let me give you a list of something I made it myself. Hey, that's pretty good. Ah. So I don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Okay, thanks. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Alright, we'll probably see him again. He just shoved my collection there aside. So I'm curious if the auto build save that it totally did okay we can get rid of this though uh can we though now it's gonna try to recreate it can we not get rid of old stuff we don't want um yes yeah, human actually there but i think the history is always there huh can't get rid of these no, can't get rid of these. Okay, well, so it goes. So it goes. It's too bad, though. I was hoping we'd be able to filter a little bit. I guess we can set them as favorites, and that would definitely make a difference. Little tiny birds here. Uh, let's take a picture. See if we know what these little tiny birds are. Uh, they are not coming up. They're too small. Damn it. Should be able to totally do that, but sadly, they're still a little too skittish. No apples in this tree. Unfortunately, the trees haven't come alive. Oh, oh, no. I spoke too soon. Okay. Let's burn. Okay, see, it seems like the depth is actually easier than this area. Here. 
They're gonna burn for a little while. At least you got out of there so we didn't start a forest fire. Okay, but he's still going down to half, so maybe it is about the same. Okay, that should pretty much finish you off. There you go. So you dropped a high tail lizard, which apparently was already dead. Oh. Oh, can you get the other high tail lizard? And an acorn. Okay, dropping some lizards kind of cool. Son of a biscuit. How many of these trees are coming after us? You know, the bomb flower is probably the way to go. I don't know why I was trying to push that. The thing is, fire fruits are much more prevalent than bomb flowers, so I kind of feel like we need to save our bombs a little bit. Especially since the bomb flowers only come about in the depths. Oops, nope, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Glad they let me reset. Kind of don't need to light this guy up. Okay, let's see if you dropped the same thing. What do you drop? You dropped an acorn, but... Oh, no, okay, you did get... Another high tail lizard, but only one that time, instead of three. Okay, the whole reason I was going that way is because I was pretty sure there was a... You're not going to wake up, are you? Oh, son of a bitch. You know what? I'm just going to go climb. I don't really need to destroy these trees. You can just stand over there and think about what you've done. What's with the trees? Why are the trees against us? Okay, now we got some shoes over there. coming after me. He's totally coming after me, isn't he? Yep. Okay, well, the weapon's powerful enough to just take him down. Okay, so. Of course it's raining, because the game has spotted that we want to climb. But we do have the... We do have some elixirs. We haven't actually sold any of the elixirs yet, so we can totally use it to climb up here. Supposedly it's going to make us sticky. I don't know how much we can actually depend on that, but we're about to find out. I'm just trying to see if there's any way to get up here normally, if there's, like, a path or anything, but it doesn't look like there is. Okay. Then climb it is. I mean, I guess I could always just build a fire and just wait. Um, I want... Here we go. Sticky elixir. Slip resistance. I mean, eight minutes is ridiculous, but sure. Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's see, this slip resistance potion is actually worth the money it's printed on. Or well, the paper it's printed on? It's not printed on paper, so it's not worth much. Yeah, okay, slip resistance is not the same thing as slip immune. Okay, recover this. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, it's good in a pinch, but really what we should probably do is just wait until it stopped raining. It depends how... Yeah, okay, see, this is just annoying, really. We do have a little bit of stamina. Okay, now, see, this is just annoying. Alright, drop. Drop, just drop. Drop, drop, drop. Yeah, that's just annoying. The game's just... The slip resistance potion is not good enough. It's too bad. I was hoping it would basically negate the effects of the weather, but no such luck. Let's hope and also... Oh, son of a freaking biscuit. How many of you are there? Chances are setting a fire isn't really going to work. I need an axe. That's what I need. So, okay. He's, yep, he's chasing me. Do I have anything I can turn into an axe? So I've got some Traveler's Claymore. And materials-wise, I think I have... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I turned the Bakuman horn. So, drop that. And then... Get the weapons. Fortunately, this guy's really slow. So up here, and then we'll go ahead and fuse this bad boy. We should just remind ourselves an axe! And chop him to death in one blow. Okay. Thank you, Hightail Lizard. I mean, the sturdy stick might be better than the hoe, so let's go and drop the hoe. Uh, I said drop the hoe? There we go. Drop the hoe, clear the sturdy stick. Now, I'd like to build a fire here. I'd have some sticks, I think. So, sticks. Sticks. Somewhere in here we have sticks. 
There we go. Pile of sticks. And I could light that up with, you know, regular stuff, but instead we're just going to light up this one. There we go. And let's wait till morning, I guess, and hopefully the rain will be done by then. Blood Moon 2, of course. The blood stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. So, I don't know. Like, are they really monsters, though? Like, I get, you know, they're not Hylians. I understand that. But, are they monsters is the question. Like, they apparently have uh, something approaching a civilization. Because they have, like... I don't know. They have the ability to make weapons. Like, they have... They can make tools. Like, they definitely have something approaching civilization. Are they really monsters? I don't know. Like, they seem to be doing better than the Apocalypse than the Highlands are. I, for some reason, wasn't able to get that apple. Let's try it again. I definitely need these apples, though. I guess I could chop down the tree. Seems like you don't want to... Oh, there's a golden apple there. There we go. I was going to say don't uh, kill the goose that lays the golden eggs. I suppose maybe we can shoot down apples? Yeah, I'd take a lot of arrows, though. Can I throw something in these apples to get them to drop down? Let's see. Uh, let's throw... Throwing an apple to knock down an apple would be kind of funny. Let's throw an eyeball. Let's see if I can have the game right here to throw the eyeball properly. Oh, yeah, there we go. That worked. So I probably could throw an apple to knock down an apple. You know, just the, the question of which apple. You always need to find the first apple. There we go. Okay, it's much better than climbing, that's for sure. And really, working on my aim is not a horrible idea. Like, chances are we're going to need to be throwing a lot of things. Yeah. So I need to be able to, like, do this quickly. Which I know is not quick right now, but we do need to be able to do this. Oh, okay. See, like, that was a really bad throw. But if now we know that really bad throws happen. And maybe we can avoid that in the future. Probably don't want to throw down the hill. Like, that sounds like a bad idea. So I'm going to throw upwards. It is still pretty cloudy, so my guess yeah. is it's going to try to rain again. Okay, one more. Let me do one more. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get up here before it rains. Should be no more attacking trees in this region. Real question, we have enough endurance to make it all the way up here. I suppose worse comes to worse. Oh, there's actually a ledge right here. Okay, that's not too bad. I was gonna say worse comes to worse, we can just set a fire and do it that way. I did not mean to jump like that. That actually ate up a lot of endurance. Uh, I guess it's a little faster. Hard to tell if that's the same amount of endurance I would have used before, though. Now, let's see what we got inside this shrine. So, my feel right now, just looking at it, is Combat Shrine. Could be wrong. Might be a Puzzle Shrine. But it kind of feels like a Combat Shrine for some reason. Well, I didn't take away my equipment, so that's good. A Windy Device. Okay, so it's a Building Shrine. Yep, that's a fan, all right. Don't see anything else here, though. It's just the fan. Huh. Um. I can pick it up. Didn't even know it was a thing. Okay. I mean, I can just stand on it, I guess, and activate it, maybe? Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess I don't know how that works, right? Because then I can activate the glider. Yeah. There we go. That worked. Now we've got a raft. 
really bad at these. They always end up going in circles, but okay. So, go ahead and get Ultra Hand. Grab you. Grab you. There you go. Right, go the other way. There we go. And attach. Okay. Try to make it go straight, but I'll be honest, it's a it's a crapshoot. Okay. Easier than I thought it'd be. I'm gonna shut you off. No worries. Any just making sure there's no chest around or anything I need to activate. Doesn't look like there is. I feel like I should change weapons too. There. Yeah, use this one instead. There we go. So I'm gonna use my shield. Okay. So we've actually seen one of these in action. We've seen that at the mining facility. So we know how this works. Uh, we turn this downward. Uh, does it work to go on either side? Yeah, okay, there's nothing awkward about that at all. There we go. And they point down. And we activate them, and it boosts us up. There we go. A little unsteady when it happens, but it totally worked. Great. Um, you know, I'll just leave, leave those on. Doesn't take battery power. What do I care? Where? Okay, there's got to be a chest around, though. There's no way. There's usually a secondary or a, another chest in here somewhere. Where's the chest at? Did I miss it somehow? Uh, let's go back downstairs. That's what I thought about. There's no, like, secret side area, though. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. There we go. This thing right here. Okay, so we need to somehow... I mean, can we just, de just detach the chest? No, I'm shaking it like crazy. It won't detach. Okay, so that's not a thing. So what I need to do... Huh, what do I need to do for this? And I guess the wind device will kind of work on this, so let's try this out. Grab onto you. And I guess attach, like... Yeah, attach it to the underside here. And then activate it. That's sufficient? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so the trick is getting up there. Now, the question is if this is sufficient to actually propel me upwards... Nope, it needs to be both of them. Hmm, how do I get up there? Well, we've got the raft here. I can make a, like a slope. It looks long enough. That might be doable. Let's see if this works. Oh, what I could also do... Okay, I could also just grab the fan and then go up that way. That's probably easier. Let's grab the fan. Okay. Catch you there. And I activate you. Oops, nope, don't go off the edge. There we go. Okay, that propels me up. Then I'll be able to glide easily over. I probably even jump down here, and that would work too. But the glide's probably safer. Oh, okay, I didn't actually glide, but that's okay. Okay, we got an opal. It's not bad. Alright, to deactivate this thing, I think we just shoot it. Yeah, there we go. All good. No worries. Oh, okay, and we actually get our arrow back. Great. For some reason, I keep thinking the arrows are gone for good, mostly because every time we hunt with them, they're always gone for good, but if we just deactivate devices, we totally get them back. I would kind of expect the other way around. All right, recovering arrows in the battlefield is totally a thing. Not to mention recovering arrows for hunting is totally a thing. It's kind of weird that it's the opposite here. Like, if you tried to use an arrow to activate something in real life, 
pretty sure you'd lose the arrow. Like, the arrow had to be smashed. Like, things would be bad. But in real life, if you use it to hunt something, you can recover the arrow from the corpse and usually reuse it. So it's so strange this game's completely reversed. All right, we're going to be exploring a region. Looks like we're all blocked off by water here. There is a bridge directly ahead of me. What are the chances that bridge is guarded? Oh, we have battle music. My guess is more... I don't know what it would be, actually. There was a brief bit of battle music, and then it gave up. Okay. i go on the bridge. No sign of another horse, though. A lot of building materials. I would love to build a wagon. Okay, that is guarded. That is a Hinox over there. That is for damn sure a Hinox. Can I take a picture of him while he's sleeping? Very far away, Hinox, but really that's the safest way to take a picture of a Hinox. We're going to have to take him out, aren't we? Well, half to is a strong word. We could probably go around him. I mean, there's another bridge up there that we could totally take. Oh, there's a... Okay. I don't really want the stone. Really, though, what we probably need to do... I mean, they're giving us building materials right here. Can we build something to take out this Hinox? It's a thought. I don't know what to build, though. Like, we have... Hmm. I mean, mostly it's just platforms. There's no, like, spikes or anything. There's no... There's wheels. Wheels could act like a... Maybe like a turn? Like, it doesn't have to be... Like, we make like a... Two-wheeled something. Okay. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can build. So, I think one of these... One of these big ones is like a opening platform to start off with. And then I'll grab this wheel here and put it along the side. Yeah, along the side there, I guess. Yep. If I, was, if I knew exactly what I was making game, I would totally... If I had made it before, yes, I would totally do that. But I have not made this before, so I'm just experimenting and see what we can do. Okay, so that'll that'll theoretically roll now. Whatever good that does. And if I could, like, strike him with something. So the idea here is that we should be able to put it, like, on, like, there. Which is now uneven. That's okay. And then what I want is, like, one of the wheels to be, like, attached with the idea that we can swing at him a little bit. So maybe, like, maybe here, maybe on top. And then we want to swing, like, this thing at him. Like, just randomly poke him with it. So I'm hoping this actually works. Trouble is, we have no, like, real materials here, so I'm kind of just winging it. So, yeah, right about there. Okay, it kind of slides around. The trick is, how do we get it to move the way we want it to? I don't know if it's going to bonk them as much as I would like it to. We also need to weigh it down over here. That might be what the other, what the fourth wheel's for. I keep doing that. It's not what I want to do there. Grab the Reaper. Auto build, grab this thing. So we're gonna put the wheel in the back here. It's gonna be a little weird, but it's so okay. I don't know if that would actually work, but okay. Mm, no. No, that doesn't work. Can we do this? It's a little strange, a little bit too heavy in the front. So I think we grab like one of these, kind of just weigh it down. And then we need another one because it's got all it's got both of those in the front, so we can even this out a little bit. 
So basically make a nice little carriage in back. Over here. Not that even, but if I stand in the back... A little bit? Yeah, but the... I don't know, the thing turns, but I can't tell it to hit anything. It's a very gentle slope. I don't know if that's actually going to work. Well, I thought I could build something to attack him with, but I don't know if we actually have anything. Like, if I could attach a weapon there... Got some spare weapons, right? What if we go ahead and attach... I don't know if this is actually a thing. Let's assume... Let's drop this weapon. And... I don't know. Use this one instead. Okay, so then I want to be able to move with Ultra Hand with this Bokobo Spear and attach it here. Kind of like the, the bobble with it. So, like, at the end there. I don't know, it's going to hit his toes? Okay, no, we need to hit him in, like, the eyeball, I think. So, hold on. Grab it. Grab it. There we go. So we need to, like, Point it upwards. So, point it up like that. Okay. So, now we got a weapon attached. I don't know what good it's going to do, but we got one attached. And I like to move this thing around, hoping the wheel there does not let us move it at all. Now it's glued in place, really. Okay. Well, it's mostly just a balance issue, really. So, we just need to grab you. Rotate you around. Okay. Might be able to bop you with it. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Oh, he's gonna wake up. Let's see how this goes. We're right under his feet. No good whatsoever. And I'll be there. Alright, let's hit him in the eyeball. It's usually a good thing to do with the Hinox. There we go. Okay. I need like a real weapon. So let's go with something with a good attack power, which I guess would be this. Nope. Okay, you have stumped right on me. Go ahead and get some recovery here. Uh, then go up here. There we go. Fortunately, his eyeball is good to hit there. Okay, a little bit of damage, but we're okay. Um, let's go with something else. Let's go with the let's go with the axe. Oh, okay, he's a little fast. We're good. We're good. Um, why am I not able to move? Okay, no, no, we're good. We're good. Stay still. Okay, no, I need to... He's gonna... Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Um, let's see this. Raise our attack power a little bit. It's a little unsteady, but not as unsteady as I would like. Out of a bow, so change over to... Oh, what do you know? I have all crappy bows now. There we go. Got him in the eyeball. Okay. Like he's close. Okay, he got greedy. Just gotta teach him a lesson, that's all. I was gonna jump. Okay, that killed me. I was so close on taking him out, too. We were so close. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. Trouble is, I need... I need flight time. How do I get flight time? Because I need to, like... Oh, you know what? I bet you attach a wing to your shield. That'll probably take me up in the air. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the, the whole thing with building stuff didn't actually happen. But what we can do... Do I have a Zenai device? We do. We have totally have some wings here. Take out the device. 
there. Then we're gonna go ahead and fuse this with a shield. Okay. So hopefully that actually works. So while we're here, let me just start this off right. Start. Hit him in the eyeball, too. Okay, he is very hurt. Okay, we took him down to half already. That's fantastic. That is freaking fantastic. Let's go to the Captain One Reaper and then run for it. any flight time. He's going to grab a tree, but then he regrets his life choices. Okay, we did some damage there. We got to be careful of the jump. Okay, yep, we were not careful of the jump. Some food. There we go. He's almost dead. We almost got him. There we go, we got him. It's close. There we go, we got him, we got him, we got him. Goody, goody, good. Get him picked up a traveler bow. Alright, he knocks down. Got a pumpkin. That's great. Got a he knocks toenail. It's kind of disgusting. Got a tooth. A little less disgusting. Kinox horn. Okay, attached to a thing. Got a volt fruit. Of course, got some more bananas. Got an apple. Got a palm fruit. Increase your heart recovery when you use this gradient. Great, great, great. Oh, can't carry no more melee weapons. Really? Am I full up somehow? Oh, because I have the stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do more for this. So I thought the. I thought it would give me flight time. I thought, like, when you aim, I thought that was a thing, but apparently not. Okay, thanks for the sticks there, too. And he has some food over here. Not a whole lot, but some things. Oh, you know what? Probably me exploding things probably cook some of these items. All right, well, still great. Although, though, I did not... There's no way the bomb went that far. I don't think the bomb extended out that far, so I think he just toasted himself. Okay, so we're pretty close. There's a cave over here somewhere that has climbing gear. And I bet that's what this little rabbit's going to lead us to, right? It probably goes right into that cave, right? It probably right there. Okay, I probably also want to go into the... So can I take a picture of you? There we go. A little bloopy. Done. Great. And we got his backside, but whatever. And this guy's freaking out. Hey, dude. Ah. These bullfrog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? It's a bullfrog. Oh. Ah. Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Ah. Huh? Are you by chance looking for bullfrogs too? Sure. Ah. I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called bullfrogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd stuff. Ah. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in North Idlet. Curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bullfrogs drop. They will ask me to do the collecting. So, they ask you too? Ah. They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful appealing, though. Well, I suppose we could take it. Caves are really dangerous. Finding bubble gems have been worth it. What? You got your hands on a bubble gem? You had the courage to not only go in a cave but face down a strange creature? You're a brave one, that's for sure. Oh. You managed to get your hands on a bubble gem. 
You should try to find those two oddballs the wood in the stable and elder to the northeast. Those fellows are in a real frenzy to find these gems. I bet you'll find them in the cave near the stable. Uh, I heard them talking about some rare treasures they found. I think it was a mystic robe or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it might not be a bad idea to go see them. I suppose you can put it on my map. I mean, who knows? We could probably... This is probably here. The uh, Okay, so take this pin off. Don't need that pin anymore. So, the tower... See if I can mark the tower here. Well, there's the stable there. With, of course, a, a shrine next to it. And there's the tower there. I definitely want to do both of those. Okay, so the stable's not too far away. So let's see if we can find a bubble jump in here. Should be easy enough. I feel like I'm doing something wrong with this shield. I feel like I've almost got the idea, but not quite. I grab one of you. Oh, shit. Like legs. Okay, they're going to throw rocks at me, right? We'll see how this goes. Okay, I got bombs. Actually, hit both of them. That's great. Um, they both seem to have gotten over it. What about... My hand with another bomb. Okay, now that did it. Almost. Almost did it. Okay, so I think we need to set them on fire. That's what I need to do. This makes a satisfying noise, that's for sure. Okay, what else you got? What else you got? Oh, yeah, I set you on fire, right? Let's go with fire fruit. See, fire fruit doesn't seem to do it. They were definitely on fire from the bomb, but it looks like only bombs do it. Okay, well, bombs away. Set you both on fire. That actually kills you entirely. So you're going to spit out your tongue at me here, right? If I get close to you or something, is that what's happening here? Everybody. Okay, well, so much for that weapon. Uh, let's go with... It's pretty powerful. I need to use it here, but... It worked. Okay, what do we got? Oh. Travel shield, which is unfortunately really not good enough. No, leaving the Traveler's Shield there. Traveler's Sword's not good enough either. How about you? Okay, an opal. Thanks. You know what? Let's go ahead and combine the Spear with the Life Life Stone. Curious what that's going to be. I mean, it might just be, you know, a stone on top of a spear. Now that's it. Yep, that seems to be it. Okay, I'm not sure that was good or not. How are we going to get up there? Good question. Climbing doesn't really seem to be an option here. I mean, I guess we could try it. So let's climb up here, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, what about if we walk along... I mean, it's not exactly a walk, but... Uh, crouch here? Okay, get up here. I might like, crouch along here. And then the climb won't actually work. Hmm. Okay, one thing we do, we probably like build a fire. And that'll be good enough to get us some lift, I think. So let's try that. There seems to be plenty of room here to build a fire. So materials, we have plenty of sticks. Uh, we have some flint. Yeah, we have some. We have tons of flint. Okay, great. I'm gonna put that down. Uh, we have a metal weapon of some sight. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got a metal weapon right here. Um, that didn't work at all. What the hell? You know what always works? Fire fruit. There. Mm, it smoked a little bit. Uh, you know, is it too wet in here? Yeah, I think the mist has gotten some issues. Huh. Well, isn't that just beat the wicket? Okay. 
Um, we can try the anti-slippery potion. It kind of sucks, but we can try it. Okay, yeah, the crouching doesn't seem to work. I thought maybe we could crouch and get along here. But it doesn't really work. Okay, so now let's try the anti-slip potion. Didn't work last time, but maybe it works better when it's not actively raining. Maybe that'll get us up to this area up here where we can maybe possibly make it work. Okay. We climb up past this thing. And we should be high enough. Oh, okay. Nope, just a little bit of a slip. No big deal. I get around. If I can just get past the waterfall, I'll call it good. And we're past the waterfall. That's one of the waterfalls. Is there another waterfall? Ah, there's a cave fish over there. Can I shoot the cave fish? I can shoot the lizard. Um, it just disappeared. I mean, I got the arrow back, but that's not quite what I wanted. And I tried to hit the... Oh, no, I totally hit the fish. Okay, great. So I got the fish. Yeah, sure enough, there's another waterfall over there. Well, interesting. I don't need to go... I don't need to climb, though, really. Do I? Now it looks like now that we're past the initial waterfall, we're good. Oh, there you are. Okay, hello there. Nice. Hit your butt. These things happen. Go to climb back up here. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, though I still lost all your things because they went down. Um, I should be able to get to stuff from there. Horriblin. Okay, yeah, we've attacked a Horriblin before. That's been a thing. What is this? Oh, my arrows. Okay, yes, thank you. I said I didn't lose my arrows. Just love throwing rocks at me. Okay, so that was just a Horriblin. No big deal. There's some cave fish around. Looks like kind of stuck in the waterfalls, which is kind of funny. And there's our bubble bro. That might just take him out. Not quite. Oh, come on. I totally had you there. You're gonna throw stuff at me and I can't seem to... Oh, because I'm in the water. Okay, probably don't let the water touch you. Lost our bow, but that's what we needed. Alright, let me get my other crappy bow here. Guess then I can get the fish. Thank you. Alright, well, we found that. That wasn't too bad. Is there another up we can go, or is that crazy talk? Yeah, there's nowhere we're getting up there. Okay, I thought that was going to happen, but I thought maybe I was likely to shoot them down, so it's good to test these things while I was very, very far away and plenty of arrows. Alright, so I guess we're done. That was easy enough. kind of want that stick. Make that into a pretty good spear. Like, right now I have a pretty bad spear. She means anyone to heal. Yeah, the lifelike sledge is. I mean, I guess seven damage is okay. But really, that's 22. We need to do more stuff like that. I guess the lifelike sledge is going to be good for. Well, probably for breaking rocks. But the rusty halberd stick seems. Oh, there's a. That's a combination. That's a halberd and a stick together. That's quite the reach. Uh, let's go ahead and give up the, the, um, the crappy traveler sword here. Drop that. Go have the rusty halberd stick instead. Which is, you know, worse than what we're currently using, but that's okay. There we go, I found a glowing cave fish. Oh, come on, I want the frogs. Okay, I got a frog. Only one frog, though. Come on, there we go. Tireless frog. Temporarily increases your maximum stamina. I like the idea. Alright, well, we got the gem. We'll go ahead and see about those guys at the stable. Oh, that's the, that's the shield on there. Yeah, okay, I don't want any of that. None of that for me. Now, we need to improve our stuff. 
Okay, thank goodness I took the potion of slipperiness, or anti-slipperiness, because that would be really annoying to climb out of. I mean, I guess we'd always teleport out. That would have been really annoying. Alright, I know it's been a long episode, but I'm going to go ahead and run over here to the stable. I would have liked a horse, but no sign of horses yet. I should go and grab some herbs here. I just want to rest at the stable, really. Oh, are you a shopkeeper? Because I could totally sell some stuff. Lady Impa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, Link. I heard you and Princess Zelda have gone missing. Thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Huh? I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say? Since that's the case, Link, I encourage you to go speak to Lady Impa. Oh. She's right over there. I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search Princess Zelda. Cool. And the geoglyphs. Okay. Be sure to do that. Yeah. Oh, a customer already? Early bird, huh? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. So, what are you up to? <laughs> and well, since you asked... After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Mm. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixture offer. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse, took the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Wild horse? Huh? If you catch a wild horse, you can make your own. There are lots of them around here, as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch and sink up on them to run away. Even after you do catch one, you have to sue the horse to get thrown off. I almost messed that part up. Okay, there are some around here? Where? And what about the building materials? Eh? There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. No two stashes will have the exact same materials. Oh. But they do have one thing in common. They're open for everyone, everyone to use. No question asked. Oh. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh, do I look like I can fix a four-strong wagon on my own? Sounds like if I wouldn't pay you back, I'll give you all my savings, in fact. Okay. Let's hurry up and help her out here. Just attach some wheels. No big deal. Anyone can do that. Here we go. Go ahead and put that there. Nope, oh, nope, don't do that. Grab another wheel. Attach that there. There you go. Completed wagon. Huh? What? It's fixed? I don't know how long that glue lasts, so you might want to reinforce that with some nails. Just saying. I mean, it might be magical glue. It might be totally fine. But, you know, just to be on the safe side. There we go. She got it fixed up. It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Uh. Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. I'm only one step away from my dream of a horse-drawn wagon. Mm. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Okay, so I need to catch a horse for her. I can totally do that. I want to do that anyway. Where the hell are the horses, though? We're going to have to find them. All right, we're going to have to go find a horse. They've got to be nearby. I would expect them to be on the wild plains. There we go. Horses right over there. All right, we're going to go catch ourselves some horses. But for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.